today we're looking at video on websites. You can have a video of your product demo, you can have a webinar, you can have yourself talking through how you work, or you can show people where you appeared in The Hobbit. Because video works, it humanizes a company or a product, it shows people that you're a real person or that your product is as simple as you say it is. And highly interactive videos just makes them that little bit stickier. These are videos that preview before you've even touched them and there are videos that have chapters so that a 12 minute video doesn't feel like a slog to watch through and call to actions or even videos where you can place those chapter markers anywhere including outside of your video. And you've seen a lot of this before, YouTube does a lot of this stuff because it provides the best and frankly most addictive viewing experience. But there are a couple of reasons why we're not going to be using YouTube videos on our site. The top reasons being we don't want that big red play button on our thumbnail and also we want our video to have a preview you to start moving before we've actually clicked it. Adding video to your site enables you to connect with more potential customers without having to catch up with every single one of them individually. So you're getting your pitch across to more people faster and booking a product demo can instead be customers giving their information to have access to a highly interactive video of the demo. You can see an example of this if you go to nikolaibain.com forward slash interactive video. You can also find other examples of this again for product demos on SaaS websites or for course landing pages, even on other agency sites. So this is what we're going to add to our site right now. Well, not right now. First, we need the Okay, now. Well, actually, first, you're going to create your video. This could be a video that distills your product demo or sales pitch. It could be a course introduction, whatever it may be. You can use slides in your video just like you would for a presentation, or you can simply screen share whatever it is you're focusing on. But now that you have your video done, we're going to upload it and add it. Wistia. They're a video embed website. They're not sponsoring me to mention them. I just think it's the best one to use and you can do everything that we're gonna to do today on a free account. So we've uploaded our video and before we add it to our website, we're gonna go through some customizing options for the thumbnail and chapters. So first customizing, we can change the color of the button to fit our website. We can also round the corners if we want to a little bit. I'm just gonna leave that as is for now. For the thumbnail itself, we can upload a specific image but what we're going to do is change it to video. It's going to kind of play a GIF of the start of the video or somewhere else in the video if we want. So let me make this eight seconds rather than three, and it's going to go through that full eight seconds. Let me make that 12 seconds, and it will play the first 12 seconds of the video. As you can see, it's going through a little bit longer. You get the idea. I'm going to change that back to three seconds, so it's just a tiny little loop, and I'm going to hit save. Next we have the controls. Uh, the controls, you have a bunch of options and this is when the video is actually playing. I'm gonna click on this and pause that. Here are our controls down here and you can turn on and off a lot of these settings if you want. Full screen if you want it, settings if you want it, all of that good stuff. We're just gonna leave volume on for now and then the play buttons are absolutely fine. So we'll go back. And the only other important thing is chapters. Now chapters are also optional, but they come in handy because we can actually use them as links to link directly to a part of the video. So I've added a bunch of chapters here. As you can see, I can literally just add a chapter, find a time in the video where I want to add it. Let's call this end and it'll be at 522. And then it will appear as a little dot that we can click on and also on our list. I'm just going to delete that last one. I already have all of the chapters that I need save that and now this is good to go for me i'm going to share it because we're going to embed it in our website let's click on embed and it'll be in line it's just going to be directly placed in the actual page itself i'm just going to copy that code go over to my page here i just have an empty embed block and just kind of like a two grid so i can have some text next to the video i'm just going to drop all of that code in and this is going to be the video itself we're not going to be able to see that until we publish. Um, let's just publish that now, see what that looks like. And now that that's done, we can already see that we have our kind of preview GIF of the video. If I click play, it's already working. It already has all of the chapters set up and it's colored to match our website. And so that's already pretty good. So the only other addition I want to add is these links outside of the video that we can use to link to specific parts in the video. So if I click here, it's going to go to the specific section in the video. And these are just using regular link blocks. So let's go back to our site and see how these are set up. So each of these are literally just plain text within a link and the link is going to inside of a timestamp on our video. 
basically we're just going to do use that hashtag wistia underscore and then the actual id of our video so i'm going to quickly find the idea of our video it's this one here i'm going to copy that save and close let me just drag a new one of these and just make it blank so what it's going to be is hashtag wistia not a plus underscore the id of our video question mark time equals and then whatever time we're going to link to in our video zero is obviously the very start of the video and then the additional numbers counting up are just seconds within the video so let me just quickly delete this last one our first link in timestamp is going to zero it's going to the very start of the video next we have uh, one that's 25 seconds in and so if we just look all we've done is literally said 25 easy as that the next one goes past a minute what we're not going to do is we're not going to say 108 that isn't going to work correctly instead we're going to do some maths and we're going to say a minute is 60 seconds and we're just going to make this 68 and we'll do the same with the next one it is not 216 it is oh my god math 60 plus 60 120 136 um, and I'm just going to publish this to make sure that these links are actually working okay. And we'll go back to our site and refresh it. And we'll just go through our links to the introduction, to my services, 108, that's working okay. And 216 is also working okay. So all of these are linking right where we want them to. And so that's it. Now we have a highly interactive video set up for super engaging pages to easily explain a product demo or to tell some type of story or to show people that you are in the Hobbit. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you on the next one.